President Obama promised new restrictions on the NSA and more disclosure to the public. We can and must be more transparent. He's ordered the NSA collection of phone records reviewed, maybe changed. Ordered the NSA oversight court to stop rubber stamping surveillance requests. He says his goal is the public trusting the NSA like he does. All these steps are designed to ensure that the American people can trust that our efforts are in line with our interests and our values. Keeping in mind the NSA is getting credit for picking up the possible al-Qaeda plot out of Yemen. And to others around the world, I want to make clear, once again, that America is not interested in spying on ordinary people. The president admitted Edward Snowden sparked the NSA review, but he says he's no patriot and ought to be prosecuted, not protected by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who the president's refusing to meet with next month and took a poke at today. He's got that kind of slouch, uh, looking like the bored kid uh, in the back of the classroom. Meanwhile, Mr. Obama's in political combat with Republicans over the budget, the debt ceiling, sequestration, and Obamacare. The one unifying principle in the Republican Party at the moment is making sure that 30 million people don't have health care. A plateful of domestic and foreign issues with the Obama family vacation set to start on Martha's Vineyard. Right. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington. A conservative group quickly countered with a bipartisan congressional estimate that 30 million Americans will still be without health care in 10 years, even under Obamacare. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News at the White House.